Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In an era of rapid technological development, the lithography industry is quietly rising and becoming a key pillar of the semiconductor industry. As an important player in this field, Nanjing University of Science and Technology is facing unprecedented opportunities and challenges, and its future development has attracted much attention. With the surge in global demand for chips, Nanjing University of Science and Technology's breakthrough in photoresist technology has injected new vitality into China's semiconductor industry. This article will explore the current status of the lithography industry, the rise of Nanjing University of Science and Technology, and the opportunities and challenges it faces, and look forward to future development potential. When it comes to lithography, many people may be confused and think that it sounds like a high-tech product in science fiction movies. In fact, it is an indispensable craftsman in the chip manufacturing process. You can imagine the lithography machine as a super precise engraver who uses the magic of light to carve tiny circuit patterns on the chip. The accuracy of these tiny patterns directly affects the performance of the chip, so the lithography machine is known as the crown jewel of modern industry. With the rapid development of technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things, the market demand for chips has skyrocketed, especially the demand for high-end chips has soared like a rocket. This demand has driven the rapid growth of the lithography industry. The once obscure lithography technology has now become the focus, attracting the attention of many companies and investors. In this feast of the lithography industry, Nunda Optoelectronics is undoubtedly the most dazzling dark horse. Founded in 2000, Nunda Optoelectronics was deeply involved in the research, and development and sales of advanced electronic materials in the early days. With the rise of the semiconductor industry, it keenly expanded its business to the key material field of photoresist. Photoresist is crucial in chip manufacturing, and its quality and performance are directly related to the yield of chips. For a long time, this market has been monopolized by a few multinational companies, and domestic companies are mostly in a state of catching up. However, Nenda Optoelectronics has successfully broken through this monopoly with its unremitting efforts in technology research and development. Recently, Nenda Optoelectronics successfully produced domestic RF photoresist and passed the verification of two important customers which marks a major breakthrough in the company's high-end photoresist field. This news has excited the industry and also given ordinary people hope for domestic semiconductor materials. After all, chips are called food for modern industry and their importance is self-evident. The success of Nanjing University of Science and Technology has undoubtedly injected strong impetus into the development of China's semiconductor industry. For Nanjing University of Science and Technology, the current rise of the lithography industry is undoubtedly a rare opportunity. With the continuous expansion of the global semiconductor market and the continuous advancement of technology, the demand for lithography machines and their supporting materials will continue to grow which provides Nanjing University of Science and Technology with broad development space and market potential. However, opportunities are often accompanied by challenges. As a high-tech barrier material, photoresist is extremely difficult to develop and produce. Although Nanjing University of Science and Technology has achieved initial success, in order to gain a foothold in the fiercely competitive market, and continue to expand its market share. It is necessary to increase its efforts in technological innovation, product quality and customer service. In addition, 
the uncertainty of the international environment has also brought certain challenges to the development of Nanjing University of Science and Technology. In recent years, the international trade environment has been complex and changeable, and some countries have taken a series of trade protection measures to protect their own industries. This is undoubtedly a huge test for Nanjing University of Science and Technology, which relies on imported materials and technologies. How to maintain competitive advantages and achieve sustainable development in such an environment will be a key issue that Nanjing University of Science and Technology needs to consider in the future. Despite the challenges, the future development of Nanjing University of Science and Technology is still worth looking forward to. On the one hand, the country's high attention and strong support for the semiconductor industry will provide a better development environment for enterprises such as Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics. The introduction of a number of preferential policies and support measures will help these enterprises grow faster. On the other hand, with the continuous advancement of technology and the continuous expansion of the market, Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics is expected to make more breakthroughs in core materials such as photoresists and gradually expand its market share. For ordinary people, the success of Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics not only means that we have more choices in the field of semiconductor materials, but more importantly, it allows us to see the rise and growth of domestic technology companies. As these companies continue to grow and develop, we are expected to enjoy better quality, more efficient and safer technology products and services in the future, thereby promoting the technological progress and development of the entire society. The rise of the lithography industry has provided unprecedented development opportunities for enterprises such as Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics, but also brought many challenges. However, it is precisely these opportunities and challenges that have stimulated the innovation vitality and development potential of enterprises. We have reason to believe that in the future development, Nanjing University of Science and Technology Optoelectronics will continue to maintain its leading position in core materials such as photoresists and make greater contributions to the development of China's semiconductor industry. For each of us ordinary people, it is also our common responsibility and mission to pay attention to and support the development of these enterprises.